In this video, we are going to derive the torque in uh, in a moving iron instrument. So, so what do we have in a moving iron instrument? We have a coil and there is a soft iron piece pivoted at this point with an indicator attached to it like this. So when this coil is energized this pulls the soft iron towards it inside it. So this soft iron piece moves uh, closer to the coil and the indicator moves. Now this coil also has an inductance. Let that inductance be L. Therefore the energy stored in this uh, in this coil is half L I square if I is the current flowing through the coil which is now equal to um, 1 by 2 L phi square what is phi? phi is the flux linkage of this coil so that means phi is equal to L I inductance times the current ok so this is the energy now what happens when this uh, when this piece of iron is moved uh, to, uh, closer to the coil the inductance of this coil increases previously it was more like an iron cord coil now it's uh, sorry previously it was an air cord coil now it's becoming more and more like an iron cord uh, coil so uh, due to the proximity of this iron the inductance increases so that means this part increases and therefore the energy decreases and this energy this uh, amount this decreased energy is the same as the work done uh, in pulling this iron piece see the torque acting on uh, this is TD and the deflection is Th uh, theta so then td times d theta if theta is the deflection is equal to so this is the work done so this is equal to minus of increase of energy d e d theta times theta so this is the rate of change of energy stored energy and this is the total change of energy total increase of energy uh, so we have a minus here so work done is minus uh, increase of stored energy so this implies TD is equal to DE D theta now this is equal to let me put in place of E let me put uh, this so I have D D theta of of half uh, 1 by L phi square so then this is equal to half minus uh, 1 over L square phi square phi, if phi square is a cons constant so I'm assuming phi square is a const is constant that has to be uh, otherwise if phi changes during this process then there will be some voltage uh, in this coil induced because because of its inductance so if phi changes there will be some induced voltage and when the current flows there will be some energy uh, transmission uh, from out uh, from the outside source or to the outside source so that is not desired so I consider phi to be constant so that there is no exchange of energy uh, between this system and any outside supply source. 
So then this uh, is equal to uh, well, mm, anything wrong here? So this is uh, 1 by 2 L phi square and ah, so I missed one term here uh, the most important thing so the derivative is 1 by 2 L square times d L d theta times phi square where phi square is constant so now this is equal to i square so 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 ah i again miss the minus here so minus 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 this is plus so i have half uh, in place of phi square by l square i can put i square d l d theta so this is the torque acting on this uh, piece of iron.